What is up, YouTubes? We got a special one today to cut into the penny roll hunts just here for a moment. Uh, these actually showed up Monday? Monday, yesterday. But, you know how it is. We get busy. So, we're going to go ahead and open it now. Maybe. Oh man, this is one of those. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What's inside? <gasps> What's that? What is it? Alright, so it looks like they wrapped me in an invoice. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. Ooh, that's nice. All right, here we go. Should I go up or down or from the side? Let's go to the side. I don't even know what horns I'm trying to do, but here it is. Ooh, baby. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's nice seeing the CAC on a slab that's its own thing and so I kind of did it more or less the FOMO that was everybody wanting that CAC you know it's whatever it's my first CAC really anything I don't think I have anything with the CAC so why not an MS-70 freaking Morgan with the CAC however I will say uh Oh wow, I just noticed that. So anyway, I will say that the CAC just doesn't really do much as compared to that. Come on, it's not even close, guys. The freaking proof is just absolutely spectacular. I almost said spectacular. Which I need to finish his uh, video where he's unboxing his piece in his Morgan. I watched him undo his Morgan. And then I had to pause it for the piece because I want my virgin proof seeing eyes to receive for their first photons off of the proof. I want it to be the actual coins that I'm holding for those photons to ping upon my eyeballs for the first time. You know what I mean? But he's not lying. His coins are gorgeous. This is the first and only one I've seen of a proof. Look at that field, they're just mirrors. And look, you can see my whole reflection. Man, that's gorgeous. I turned it into a video about the proof, that's how gorgeous it is. So yeah, CAC, MS-70, first delivery. This came from these cats. Now I will say, I got my head cracked because I got the FOMO and I was like, these are going to sell out so fast. Well, not really. Look at this, this is kind of cool down here. So you got a CAC down here in the actual slab. That's kind of neat. I was looking for my PCGS shield, which of course it has none. The slab looks good. I like how it has kind of a frosted look itself. The slab itself is kind of frosted. And then around the coin, you got that, I think it's a rubber. Rubber. Maybe it's hard plastic. I honestly don't know. I'm just going to leave it exactly like this. So there you go. That's where I got it. Maybe you can get them cheaper somewhere else. I can, I'll can. i tell you, these were going for $199, and then last I looked, they are going for $165. So maybe once they're all out into circulation, they'll start climbing back up. There just might be too many of these out there. $275 is a lot. I don't know how many 70s there are going to be. I mean, I'm, I'm just, just from looking at this right now, you guys, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just more hard on these coins than these grading companies. Look below the U. You see that? Below the U and the bus. I see a little bit of distraction there. Like, if this is getting a 70, then I'm being too hard on coins. Right? On her cheek. You see her cheek? Where is it at? I'll get it. You can kind of see it. The light's kind of fighting with me. See it? You see a little speck on her cheek right there? I see it. 
So is it perfect? No. Is it in Mint State 70 CAC? Sure. Whatever the hell that means, you guys, I guess. I don't know. Apparently the green bean is uh, highly desirable. The green bean on other slab coins, so it's kind of like you get a cosign. Co-signature, conspirator engrading, however you want to say it. You can think, uh, what's his name? Son of a silver, hold on, I always screw it up. Son of a silver stacker. Yeah. So he's where I first found out about these CAC slabs, and I was like, oh, I gotta have that. However, like I said, everything is for sale. So I'd sell this. Even I'd take a bath on it, whatever. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I think I would rather just have two more Morgans. These are, yeah, look at that. Well, you know what I mean, the proofs. I'd rather just have two more proofs. It doesn't even look like the same coin. The proof is hot. The proof makes the Morgan lady look way freaking hotter. This, she doesn't look attractive at all to me. Not as a coin, not as a woman, not anything. This, I'm like, okay, she was probably hot, maybe. I don't know. This design just just doesn't do it for me. I like the peace dollar way better. No offense to my Morgan lovers. I mean, I have some older ones. I think they're 1921s last year. Anyway, that's really all I have. I just wanted to show you guys. I got a green bean. And it's not really a green bean, though, is it? No. So I guess I don't have a green bean. Huh. Back to square one. But I do have an MS-70 Morgan. First delivery, early delivery, first strike. Don't get caught up in that foolishness. This is the... At the end of the day, that's what matters. This is fiat bullshit. No, no joke. Like, I mean, I get it. I appreciate it. I also send sports cards in. I sent a fucking Tommy Lasorda 88 tops in to get graded. And it came back at mint 9. And I was so happy. I'll show you all that on another one. But at the end of the day... That just becomes a fiat game that is just somebody's subjective opinion. I mean, we can have standards, but even using those standards, people are, people are going to have a varying degree of opinion. So yeah, I don't know. I get caught up in the slabs and the grades, and then I, I have to tell myself, like, this means nothing. This is something some asshole printed on a paper. If the coin is that, then it's going to be that. It just is. Now... The other part of me is like, well, if you have the right slab, it's going to go for way more money. So from that vantage point, it's a high value add to have the right slab. So I mean, go, it's, it's all a trade off. What do you want to do? I have a bunch of pennies I want to have graded, but it's like, I don't want to get sucked into that rat race. But if the pennies grade high, they're going to be worth a lot of money and it's going to be well worth having them graded. So, man, it's what a freaking weird hobby. What a weird, cool hobby. But I think we can all agree the coins are cool, whether we agree upon the grading or not. Man, that proof is freaking smoking hot. 400,000, though. You're killing me. At 175000 this thing gets up there. Very expensive. At 400000 Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. And there's our 2021. Carson City. So what was this? This is just a Philly, right? P. It has a P. Interesting. Interesting. Why would they mark it P? Ooh. Wow. Okay. Whoa. This might be one of the... Ooh, shit. I like that, too. Look at this, guys. Okay. You guys won me over a little bit there. USA. Holy shit. I hope that's some... Sh no, that's on the coin. You see that? Look at the field. The wing. Look at the field to the left of the wing. 
on the left wing. You see that? That's on the that's the coin. That's in the field. My my light's probably not the best. You see that? Look, there's a couple spots. Wow, that's an MS70. Well, I feel way better about a lot of my coins that I've been talking shit about. Look, there's next to the star. I see a couple spots. Man, if that's an MS70, then yeah, I guess. Mm. So the spots in the field where it should be kind of frosty and it gets that kind of smooth shine where it's going to reflect some light back, I've been kind of dinking my coins for those and maybe those don't matter as much. This slab might be the toughest slab that I've seen yet. So you guys can scan my shit and steal all my stuff. Look at that. That looks pretty. But the, the slab itself, very robust in appearance. It seems beefy with this kind of like edge. I like that a lot. It does make it, it does make holding it a little, I don't know, sharper. Whereas like these other kind of stupid rounded over, I don't know. Very nice. Overall, happy. I wish I would have waited a little bit to watch the prices kind of chill out. So, but it is what it is. It's just, you know, to be early is to be wrong. And it can be expensive to be early. That's what I've learned in trading is you can be early and be right. And yet by being early, you're wrong. And if you want to be early, you can, but it can be very expensive to be early. So anyway, not really advice, just observation of my own experiences. But yeah, the P, 2023 P, why wouldn't it just say 2023? Because there's no mint mark. So I don't know. Interesting. Because I believe the other ones will just say 2020, you know, for a coin. If it's ever Philadelphia, it's not going to say Philadelphia. But if it's another mint, they'll put the mint. If it has a mint mark, they'll put it up there. So that has a P and no mint mark is a little bit puzzling. I'll give you one last look at the proof. And the Mint State 70 side by side. And yeah, the proof is in better shape than the Mint State 70. So these are these better be 70s across the board. Unless I find something that I haven't seen yet. Freaking gorgeous. Freaking absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, I'm going to get this one up. And then I have another absolutely cool, gorgeous unboxing to do for you. I'll kind of leave you all with my... Uh, the wall of Morgan here. There you go, that view's a little better. What do you guys think of my wall back there? Everything is for sale. I'm not kidding when I say that, like I mean that. So don't be shy. If you see something you like, look, I'm the king of lowball offers, so I can't be offended if people send me lowball offers when I've done it for years and years and years. So if you see something you like and you wanna make an insultingly lowball offer, Please do. Let's do it. Let's make something happen. All right? I got way too much shit to be, like, just have it. Like, I need to sell some of this shit. So please, make some offers. All right. Peace, guys.